In a risk assessment process, it is important to identify the different risks involved in the use of a collaborative robot. Evaluating a risk correctly can be a game changer in your risk assessment process. The risk is usually evaluated using four different criteria. Severity of injury, possibility of occurrence, possibility of avoidance, and frequency of exposure. Let's take the simple example of a gripper hitting my hand against the table. The severity of injury is rated from 0.25 to 65, the lowest being a scratch or a bruise, the highest being catastrophic. In this case, the pain level is not even reached when the robot stops. So a rating of 0.25 is accorded to this risk. The second criterion is the possibility of occurrence of the hazard. It is rated from 0.05 being almost impossible to 6 being certain. In this case, we consider that this risk is possible. The third criterion is possibility of avoidance, rated from possible being 0.75 to impossible being 5. In this case, the robot is not moving fast enough to crush me instantly, so it is possible to avoid the impact. Finally, the frequency of exposure is rated from 0.5 being annually to 5 being constantly. In this case, the worker is exposed daily to the hazard. Then, all these criteria are multiplied together to give a certain rate. In this case, 1.4, which is considered as being neglectable. Once all your risks are evaluated, you can do a risk reduction process, starting with the most dangerous one. Stay tuned to see other videos on collaborative robot safety.